Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta figure out a time to do that. How about you start the video? So, guess what? We are recording early. Even though you won't know that, because the divas are on. And we don't review divas. The yeah, high fine divas. Oh, they're revolutionizing. Yes! Entertainment. Entertainment! This is our uh, third anniversary, actually. It's November 28th. Three years, oh my god. It just so happens to fall on a Monday. But the clip show is shot. Um, I'll probably upload it tomorrow. So, um... I guess technically this is the first video of the third year of the Smart Busters, though. How about that? And... Believe it or not, things are way worse than when we started our channel. Oh, Even yes. worse than last year. See, back in the day, our goal was to save wrestling one random now, time. Now our goal is to kill it. <laughs> no, it's not to kill it. It's just to tell everybody that it sucks. It'd be so great if we killed it, though. If we just get so many people to not watch it. That but it just it, it's not because we ne we stopped liking wrestling. No. It's just because... This it's, isn't wrestling. It's, it's not. It's is. beyond... The wrestling we all know is dead and buried, so we're just... Hey, Mary, hey, Michael. Trying to enlighten people is no. This is not wrestling. This is gay. This is what you call gay. All right. Oh, she. How gay is it? Anyway, uh, we get a recap to start Raw, which stank, of the gay main event from last week, and they made this video package like this was some big memorable moment that we're gonna remember all throughout wrestling history. And in reality, I'd forgotten about it the very next day and didn't give it a second thought until I saw this montage. And I was like, oh yeah, this happened for no reason. Brilliant storytelling. Yeah. So Jericho and Owens come out for the yeah, highlight I reel. I don't remember what the main event was. It was uh, Seth Rollins versus either Kevin Owens or Chris Jericho, and either Kevin Owens or Chris Jericho interfered in the match. Oh, that's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Jericho and Owens start the show. It's the highlight reel. And for literally over 20 minutes, they talk about the power of friendship. And Roman Reigns also done gone gets involved as well. I love you. No one was listening. I sure as hell wasn't. When Reigns came out, did Michael Cole feign? What? What's he doing here? I know it's the United States champion. It's the big dog, Roman Reigns. <laughs> so immediately after that, for 20 minutes, we have to hear this boring drollery. Now we're backstage with it. Kevin Owens and Jericho still talking about the power of friendship. <laughs> this shit is fucking gay! <laughs> Are you really my best friend? Let me tell you about real friendship. It was not anything that happened organic. The writers just decided, let's put these two jobbers together. The story was about Triple H! Where did Jericho come from? They have zero chemistry together. Huh. They don't play off each other. It's just stupid. And why is Jericho the grizzled veteran Owens monkey boy? But let's talk about change. It should be the other way around. How about it just shouldn't fucking happen? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so here's our first match of the evening. This will keep the ratings up. You ready for this? It's Goldust and R-Truth. Gold, as they used to call him. Versus Braun Strowman. R-Truth. Not counting K quick. When was our truth hired? When did he come around? 2008? Mid 2000s. Our truth made his debut almost a decade ago. <laughs> and in that entire time, with the exception of the fucking two week period where fans were saying he was the next great heel, has done nothing but smile, grin, and make caveman sounds. <laughs> He has contributed nothing to WWE. Zero. Nothing. He's a footnote in history. And yet he has collected millions of dollars to do nothing. I have a question. And every you. week he's still on TV in matches. Who's a bigger waste of money, The Miz or R-Truth? Oh, R-Truth. I hate The Miz more, but R-Truth undoubtedly is a bigger waste. He waddles out like a penguin. What's up? Hey, 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 I'm black. What's up? Hey, people over there. What's up? Hey, my <laughs> What the fuck? That's it. That's all he does. Remind me to bleep that out. Um, can we get a Miz rant in here just because I love it? <laughs> it I, I can't there. rant on the Miz right now. I'll <laughs> rant on him later. Our, but our truth, if you can understand that, I hate the Miz more. But our truth isn't like the Miz. They try to pretend he's big time. <laughs> they don't even try to pretend our truth is big time. He's just nothing. Why put him on? Why? Who thought this tag team was gold dust and just throwing him out there every week? 
was going to get views! Goldust has been in these stupid jobber tag teams with these fucking black guys for 20 fucking years! And no one's ever fucking cared about it! <laughs> so, uh, Sami Zayn runs out to save the ratings, and... Strowman beats him up again, and tortured soul full, he runs out and goes, Hey! Stop it for these fans! So that happens. It's very exciting stuff. The Divas are backstage, so no one watches that. And then we get Cruiserweight shit, so no one watches this that. This is so bad! And then Enzo and Cass, Hey! It's Cyber Monday! Buy these cheese doodles or whatever! Hey! Or I'll stick my cheese doodle up your Dorito! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to squeeze my luscious teats? I fucking hate Big Cass more than Enzo. <laughs> Big Cass? He comes in and he stands there looking like he's some kind of imposing threat. Yeah, you're not a threat. Go fuck your mother. Everyone who sees him should just kick him in his nutsack and throw him down a fucking flight of stairs. I hate Big Cass. Seriously, in like the world of Las Vegas fucking strip clubs, where you're hiring these muscular guys to guard the door, or you're hiring big fat guys to guard the door, would anybody ever fucking hire Cass to guard anything? He looks like a fucking gay elf. Cass would have a better job as a stripper showing his tits off for people. I'm serious, he's not tough, so stop pretending he is! <laughs> big Cass. Is oh my, Big Cass. His name is probably like David. Talent wise, Big Cass might be the worst wrestler ever. Absolutely. He can't do anything. He can't form a sentence. Hey. He's at the same vein as Tyson Tomko and that type of fucking jobber that they tried to push his big time because he's slightly tall. Hey, well, um, you know, Enzo, these guys in the ring, they're just clowning around. Heidenreich, Snitsky, Tyson Tomko are all better than Big Cass. Mark my fucking words. Big Cass will amount to nothing. So stop fucking putting him on TV, and Enzo is just as gay, don't get me wrong. A big fat guy's taint that's encrusted with toilet paper from a truck stop bathroom is better than Big Cass. <laughs> you alright? You understand what I'm saying? You can't just put it- I'm sorry, I don't know why I want to rant on him. But can't just put he's a, gay! You can't just make a guy debut and put him on TV, have Michael Cole literally come on the camera <laughs> lens. Literally, he's, there's one clip where he's stroking and the fucking semen gets all over the camera lens as Michael Cole is telling you how fucking tough and how scared of big ass we should be. That's a good clip, by the way. That's a, I, the WWE scrambled it's for It's not gonna work. No one's gonna think big cast is scary when he has fucking decom boobs flopping around in the ring! <laughs> there's something wrong with him! Yeah, big cast is a... He's just so powerful, so strong, he's so muscular that John... If I had boobs like that, I'd go to the doctor. I'd be scared. <laughs> yeah. Why is he... Big Cash should wake up in the morning, see his tits there, and his heart rate should increase like 130-fold. Like, what the fuck is happening to me? And they're not fat man boobs. No. They're it's breasts. Mammary glands. And they're not pectoral muscles either. Okay? You can't do these with them because they're not your muscles. It's just the big mammary glands sitting in there lactating. I'm like, I am astounded that on your flagship fucking show... <laughs> Uh, you start the show with this friendship garbage that no one cares about, <laughs> and you supplement it. You supplement your main event material with fucking R Truth, Gold Dust and his black friends, Big Cass's boobs, midgets, headlined by Brian fucking Kendrick. I about the Davis, eh? Oh, uh, how can I forget the Davis Revolution? <laughs> uh, what like, garbage? You know what, though? After they pour out the web, they didn't even have a match, by the way. They were just talking about website deals. After that, guess what happened? We're backstage with... Ah, who? Chris Jericho. Ah, uh, and uh, Kevin Owens. No, he's not there. Some, uh. some lady is there, and guess what they're talking about? Friendship. Yeah. So, uh, did you really mean what you said about Kevin Owens not being your friend anymore? What are you talking about? Of course I mean what I said. And then Seth Rollins appears standing backstage with sopping wet hair that's making wet stains on his shirt for no reason. And they start having a lame brawl in a parking lot for <clears throat> no reason. There was probably lots of <laughs> yeah, lots sounds. Of lots, of lots, of <laughs> lots of pseudo hardcore shit. Oh, he's got a weapon. Oh, but he got out of the way just in time. Just that lame, hacky shit. This reminded me of that fucking parking lot brawl between Rollins and Ambrose uh, prior to Battleground one year. Remember that shit? God. When Ambrose would just pop out of nowhere. Hey, it's me. <laughs> he's like Oscar the Grouch popping out of a garbage can. Very gee, very gee. And then we get Divas shit. Again. Oh my god. Turn them off. Not reviewing the Divas. They don't count. They're not even the main event. I don't know what was the main event yet, but it wasn't the Divas. 
Jackson was. No, because we're not counting that as the main event. Well, then I guess the main event was... All right, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Titus and Mark Henry have a very personal exchange backstage. Hey, man, don't, don't touch me. I'll touch you if I want to. Hey, man. Bring the hole, pray. Just black guys shoving each other. How exciting. Bring the power. Bring the hall of pain. Why is Mark Henry not retired? Yet? Why is our truth on the screen more than Mark fucking Henry? Mark Henry can't be on the screen because he keeps like Mark Henry in a wheelchair shitting his pants is more entertaining than our truth. <laughs> Can we get that for three hours? <laughs> it's better than our truth. <clears throat> then we get more cruiserweight shit. This is like a joke. I need to read what's happened thus far. Let's just go back. We got our gay opening segment with Jericho and Owens talking about friendship with Roman Reigns. We're backstage with Jericho and Owens talking about friendship. Goldust and R-Truth vs. Strowman with a Sami Zayn cameo. Divas talking backstage. A cruiserweight match. End zone cast selling shit. More backstage friendship talk with Jericho and a gay brawl with Rollins. More Divas shit. And Titus and uh, Henry talking backstage. And then another cruiserweight match. Not one action figure to a child was, sewn, was, was sold so far because of this Raw. I will guarantee you, no kid... Ran to the store and bought a fucking big cat's action figure because of the action on Raw. To be fair, this it's 11 at night. Like, they're not going to go buy action figures now. Well, tomorrow, no one's going to be... You know what, if they were excited enough, they'd go buy action figures now. Walmart's always open. Anyway, the next segment is sure to sell some figures, though. Sheamus and Cesaro are sitting at a pub together. Sheamus says, get me a point. <laughs> and Cesaro literally says... Give me a martini shaken, not stirred. Oh, God. <laughs> when did James Bond become this, Swiss? Yeah, he's not fucking Bond. They're listening to the Smarks again. He's, they never gave him a Bond gimmick. They gave him a suit to come out with, and he tore it off like a faggoty stripper. So if anything, he's a Chippendale. But because Smarks... <laughs> That's not James Bond. That's not James Bond. He's literally becoming James Bond. Push James Ellsworth. He's James Bond. <laughs> now they have to make him James Bond. So now he's running around. His Titan Tron is the stupid white circles. And he's asking for shaken, not stirred <laughs> martinis. It's not even like a Bond-based character. He is fucking James Bond. And you can't give him Bond girls because he's gay. So instead of <laughs> pussy galore, you're going to get anus aplenty or something. And I swear that's not a written joke. <laughs> <laughs> What happened after that? Oi, fella, you're gonna be getting Seamus' pink dirt star, fella. <laughs> <laughs> they start lamenting their loss of some tag match that I don't remember happening. Oi, <laughs> we could have been tag team champions there, fella. We just hate each other. <laughs> yeah, we do hate each other. For England, Alec. <laughs> For England, Seamus. <sighs> so then some random fucking black guy comes over and says, Hey, Seamus. You got a stupid haircut, man, yeah. And then some fucking redneck comes over and goes, Hey, Cesaro, you're bald. And then, the fucking, they console each other like, Hey, it's alright, we don't have to take this, man. And then they start beating up, not just those two innocent bystanders, but everybody in the bar. Uh, they just, no, 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 it's the Attitude Era. They're just beating ah, up everyone. Nah, no, nah, no, it's not the Attitude Era, it's gay. It's Attitude Era, ah. This is gay shit. That is shock television. Oh, of course, this is edgy. <laughs> This is real edgy stuff there, John. Next week, they're going to have these two guys on the sidewalk doing a cake stomp to homeless people. <laughs> it's not edgy. This is stupid. <laughs> no one asked for this. No one asked for the best of seven for the title, John, or whatever that was for. And no one asked for their tag team. It wasn't for a title. It was, it was, oh, it was for, you know what? It was for the good match award. <laughs> Whoever can put on the best match seven fucking times. <laughs> So then they clink glasses and they declare their undying love. We'll be tag team partners now again, fella. Let's compare foreskin. Ew. Compare it? Why? Because <laughs> they're European and disgusting. All right. Well, uh, Roman Reigns fought Kevin Owens. Nobody cared. Kevin Owens' pew beard is like out of control. Like, Ooh. <laughs> Big dog versus a fat dog. So then Kevin Owens is backstage and he smells terrible. I have no idea who won that match, by the way. <laughs> it was inconsequential. The one slightly entertaining thing that happened tonight was Paul Heyman in one of those faggoty interviews with Michael Cole with his fucking soul patch. Like, mm -hmm, yeah, I don't want you to tell me about it. I go back there, John. 
And uh, Heyman was acting quite well. He was like crying. He was like... It was funny. And then basically the point of this was to announce that Lesnar's going to be in the Rumble too. Which actually makes the Rumble match itself more exciting, knowing that the two of them will be there. But it would be really lame if Lesnar screws Goldberg out of the Rumble for the second time. Well, we know mm -hmm. one of the... You mean... Yeah. This, this is how the rivalry started didn't. in 2004. Goldberg screw Lesnar? Oh, no! Yeah, no, no, no. Right. Lesnar right. didn't. I'm first. thinking of uh, the Don't Do Anything I Wouldn't Do second. Don't Do Anything I Wouldn't Do. Which is still... Don't do awesome. The whole build to that feud was so epic, the, the match sucking didn't matter. Go... Like, if you think that match sucked but don't know anything about it... Go watch all the things leading up to it and tell me you wouldn't buy the pay-per-view just to see that. Anyway. Um, yeah, the New Day Raw fought the club again. Again, it's, it's humongous black men with sex objects strapped to their foreheads. <laughs> it's right. compelling, edgy television. Well, look what they're fighting with. Two sweaty, bald guys. But they're great wrestlers from Japan! <laughs> I hope Japan fall. I hope Fukushima explodes. Again. So uh, we get Diva backstage shit, and then our exciting main event of a Diva's Falls Count Anywhere matchup that nobody on planet Earth is That's watching. raw. How, do, what's, how does literally, how did the main event, what is the main event storyline, first of all, and how does it advance? The main event storyline is Triple H screwed Seth Rollins. I thought that was the main event storyline, but Triple H hasn't been seen on TV since then. This is a... This might be the worst Raw of all time. It might be. Although every Raw... Fucking every... I lost count. Every Raw this year has been the worst Raw of all time. Every single fucking episode of Raw. No, not the one where Goldberg came back. Okay, yeah, you're right. <coughs> and there might have been another one. I was watching some for the clip show that I prepared for our anniversary. By the way, uh, John John wanted me to say, fuck all of you, Smartbusters fans, so... Fuck Cody Rhodes. 